this right here okay so this is ds lily pretty awesome streamer for uh for path of exile primarily but also in uh in the diablo category now i actually before the game even came out we were talking about how this could potentially be a problem i actually made a video called this that i unlisted because they promised that it wouldn't be an issue when they introduced the battle pass and the smothering ashes uh i was saying that it's not pay to win unless you level faster than the battle pass progression can be and from my understanding that's now the case this has never been the case in any of the previous ones so i want to see this here she apparently tested this so she level 82 smothering ashes not unlocked at the moment because she has not progressed far enough in the battle pass what swiping happens her buy button doesn't even work there we go and Boom, it's now, now unlocked. I have three. Undeniable proof. So if you're wondering what happened there, effectively what happened was before in the battle pass, you didn't level fast enough to get the to to ever have a problem where you got locked out getting the smothering ashes because of the battle pass tiers. The smothering ashes, you have to have one the level and you have to have the amount of battle pass tier you're on. Before, you would always have the tiers way sooner than you would have the levels because of just the nature of the game being slower. But they sped up the levels and probably forgot to retune the battle pass portion. So now you can get, it only really happens at the end here. You can see it's the level 82 one, but there's a few of the ashes that you can get uh, basically earlier if you're leveling super fast now. So let's see the rest of this here. This game, dude, what is wrong with this game? Okay, so it's here. I could have unlocked those three ashes much earlier to skipping way more tiers if I had not waited to buy them, plus had the in-game currency. It was just a demonstration. It's the case for the entire duration of my playthrough. That was, in, that was in a position where swiping equal advantage, even right at the beginning of the run. Okay. So apparently it starts at the beginning for her. I didn't look into the battle pass thing until later. I was just assuming that they had locked it only to the level, and it was a the separate Oblo track entirely. Diablo 4 is pay to win. Pay to win being defined as an advantage gained for real money purchase. You may classify this as pay to progress, pay for convenience, whatever. I'm not interested in your definition in the some arguing the semantics. I don't care about that. Uh, it is what it is. End of the line is you pay money, you get an advantage. That's all. Okay. In that. So the people in chat saying it's not a big deal, is it? I mean, it's it very, very tame. Yeah, I mean, I agree. Actually, she even agrees. If you look here, not game breaking could lead to more grades to pay the win. The point is that technically that's what this is. Not that the whole game is like broken because it's pay the win. I mean, this doesn't really matter that much. But in a game where people are doing like leveling races and stuff, it's something that people were just bringing up to address. I don't think this actually really matters that much but it doesn't matter if it matters it matters if it's in the game when it's promised to never be in the game so this is probably an oversight because i really don't think this is intentional due to it being so small that no one really would swipe for that there's not really a reason to swipe for this to explain how this happens for people that don't understand you get something called ashes in the battle pass and these ashes are used for bonuses such as the mo two notable ones is boost from xp in general to your character and bonus glyph xp from nightmare dungeons dashes are locked behind character level and battle pass level so you need to have both to unlock them see this is the part that i thought was different i actually thought these were locked to only level and it was on a completely separate track and this is new for her it's actually new for everybody so season four is the first time that this has been actually happening and again this isn't really like ruining the game or anything, okay? I mean, this is like the most minor version of anything, which is why I think it's just an oversight. If they were going to add pay the win in the game, they do it in a way that they can actually make money. This isn't really going to do anything. Let's say you are level 25. This is not the new since the moment they put Battle Pass that's more expensive. Now nah, you don't understand the way it works. So before, you would have to have two things, and you still have to have two things, the level and the Battle Pass. But you could not get Battle Pass levels fast... Uh, uh, slower than the levels meaning that by time you got the battle pass tier there you already had the light like you already had it basically you couldn't purchase a skip tier to the portion that you didn't have before you would already have the tiers of the battle pass and the thing you were gated by was actually playing the game so therefore it was no longer an issue before but now it's the other it flip-flopped the other way where now you actually get the levels faster than the tiers you see what i'm saying because buying the battle pass tiers if you could already have the tier level you can't buy levels in the game so this is this has been implemented in the game but it hasn't been functional in the game
because you couldn't actually you couldn't actually get to this point where you actually did anything. Like you would swipe and acquire nothing. Even if your battle pass is level 30, you can't get them. But if you are level 28 and your battle pass is only level 20 and you can then just swipe to get the ashes. If you don't swipe to get the ashes, you have to stop whatever you're doing and then go do some random chore in the season journey, go mop someone's floor, go vacuum <laughs> some dirt off the ground, so then you can get to that point. So you have two options. You can continue leveling optimally, or you can stop and do that chore. Now, if you stop and do the chore, you are now behind the person who just continued to level optimally and swiped for it, right? I think it's a good point, chat. Pay the win by definition, but not by the standards of people who want to pay the win. Yeah, basically, that's how I feel about it. Does this really matter? Not really, unless you're a racer and you're like actually racing for level 100. But is it technically that? Yes. And I think that's why people are making videos and talking about this is because this is something that's promised. Like Diablo 4 is no pay for power, no pay the win, will not have pay the win, like all of that. And again, I think they're trying to stick to that. I think this is literally... I, like, this is not intentional, and I guarantee you that this is going to be... Pat I mean, at least I would assume... Okay, I could be wrong here, but I definitely think this is going to be patched out. Because think about it, The amount of people that would swipe for this is like a dozen people. Like, why would you swipe to get... Ba to use Battle Pass skip tiers to get a couple ashes earlier than you otherwise would? Like, there's not really a... You don't really need to do it. You have to do the other things anyway. This only really matters when you're, like, racing people. I think it's an oversight. Yeah, I agree with the chat. I definitely think it's an oversight. Like, I don't really think this is like, oh my god, they're trying to add pay the win into the game. But technically, she's right. In previous seasons, you could not outlevel the battle pass at the character level, so this was not a problem before. But now leveling has been updated and made faster, so you do outlevel the battle pass. I was outleveled pretty much my entire playthrough so far. I don't think it was intentional, but... Another case of classic Blizzard cannot do math, and they didn't realize this would happen. Or, <laughs> there may be more malicious things, but I doubt it. Like, I mean, companies do hire psychologists to get people to swipe more, so... It... Yeah, but hiring people to plan this out is putting an insane level of, like, long-term competence where you believe that they're doing a 900 IQ plan. In in a world in which there's tons of bugs, like Holy, Bots, Holy Bolts is, like, one-shotting literally everything... Uh, I, I don't I, I don't see this as anything other than like an oopsie daisy. They make oopsie daisies. This is an oopsie daisy. I don't think this is a like we hired our 9,000th and one employee to come up with a plan and he happens to know the nuances of the game so well. Like I, I, I that's that's putting a, an insane level of belief basically into the company. I think this is literally like an oopsie daisy. Could be a little bit of an experiment, but. I, I, I genuinely doubt it. It's probably not intentional. It's just that they yeah. couldn't do math. Agreed. Now, it could be solved easily if they just make Ashes unlock based only on character level. Agreed. It'd be a super easy solution. Agreed. Right now, it's not. It's genu genuinely not a huge issue that this isn't even in the game. Uh, you get a very marginal advantage. An advantage, nonetheless. It is definitely an advantage. But if left in the game, it could quickly spiral out of control. If XP continues to be buffed, and the battle pass XP does not, leading to a more dire situation where you get even more from it for swiping. And with Blizzard always making things easier in their games, it feels like I would not be surprised if this is the case in the future. Like if they start doubling down and adding more XP in the urns and then being like, oh no, it, you can get the ashes for sure now, that would be crazy. Launch hand, it also leaves room open for other mechanics in the future inadvertently becoming pay to win if they mess up the math again. Now the weirdest part of all of this is, is that a bunch of people have been defending this. Now, I don't know what would cause you to defend this. You're Two things. One of which is people are sick of D4 bad and the season's actually good. So they're like enjoying playing the game for the first time in a long time. And then immediately there's people complaining about something. They're just going to, they're not even going to listen to the complaint no matter how correct it is. And they're going to say, just shut the fuck up. I'm actually having fun for once. I don't want to hear D4 bad again. Like I'm literally just trying to enjoy my time. That's one of it. The other part of this is I myself, somebody came in the chat the other day and was explaining this because they were watching her stream. And I myself said, no, that doesn't exist. That's just like factually wrong. Like that's not the way it works. It's locked to, it's it's locked behind the levels and the levels are gated more than, than the bow pass skips. So like that's just wrong. Because 
I didn't realize that they actually had it where you could literally get to this situation in season four. So there's people there, one, can be misinformed because I didn't realize this is a new situation actually right. So I actually thought it was already tied just to levels. That was my understanding of it. And then two, there's the people that literally don't want to hear any complaints at all because now they're having fun with the game and they've been hearing D4 bad for a literally literal year straight and they're tired of it and they just want to play the game. So those are the reasons you're going to hear people defending this. Either A, somebody who likes pay to win in your games, which is a vast minority, I think, at least in terms of PC gaming and relevant things like this outside of mobile gamers, or your B, playing White Knight for a multi-billion dollar company? I don't understand. Yeah, so I don't think too many people like this because it's pay to win. This Least isn't people that like pay to win want things that are more pay to win than this. They want to be able to buy gear with their card because they don't have time to play the game. They want to be able to log in and buy an Uber Unique. That's what they want to do. So I don't think it's so much that. I think one of it is misinformed for sure. Like the C hero, they just have no idea what they're talking about. Because like I literally made this mistake myself. This is definitely part of it. And I think the other part of it is people just don't want to hear about it right now because they're having a good time. This is pretty minor. Definitely an oversight. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. You feel free to clip it and tell me I'm wrong um, if they actually do end up buffing this and making it even more technically pay the win. I, I'm pretty sure this is going to be patched out and this is inconsequential as of the moment. But technically, she's right. And uh, that is why you're probably hearing people say D4 pay the win right now.